I'm Dan Hamilton and I'm a third year apprentice. I'm Taylor Lightbourne and I'm a fourth year apprentice and this is the 1942 MGB 81. Clearance holes are drilled through the hole every 8 inches following the line of the frame inside and out. The beams that you saw being laminated in part one, laminating, spiling and shaping hull frames are then dry fitted in place before being glued, clamped and wedged with wooden pegs to prevent any slipping. The screwdriver machine used to fit the three and a half inch silicon bronze screws is somewhat special. It was owned by the grandfather of a senior Burton shipwright, Steve Phillips, who worked for British powerboats in 1940, giving it an incredibly strong chance that this screwdriver machine was used in the original build of the MGB-81 back in 1942. From the outside, pilot holes are bored and using the previously drilled clearance holes for guidance, the frames are permanently screwed into place. As always, we have apprentices working alongside our seasoned shipwrights in order for them to learn different techniques and to give them a wider knowledge of working with different materials. The main reason for resorting back to this equipment is because of how powerful it is. This screwdriver machine has enough power and torque to drive a screw three and a half inches long through the ashen mahogany frames. Even though there may be modern tools powerful enough for the job, using the traditional tools and teaching the apprentices with these methods is always preferred. These screw heads will eventually be laminated over with small squares of fibreglass keeping her hull watertight. Don't forget to watch out for part 3 where we will be fitting the box stringers longitudinals and bunk fronts. <laughs> 